day three of being in Canada, and uh, I've been accused of apologizing too much already, and for that I am sorry. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, I'm watching Angling Anarchy. Oh, those gosh darn Canadians and their niceties. Uh, we are having a blast up here. We are on day three, as I mentioned, of trying to chase muskies. And uh, it's going pretty well so far. We've got a couple nice fish, a 50, 47, a bunch of mid 40s. Um, we're not killing them, but we are uh, staying on them halfway decent. It's always a challenge, uh, especially the first couple days of a trip to find out where they are, what they're doing. We've seen them on rocks, weeds, so they're just kind of all over the place. Post spawn, um, we've got water temps anywhere from 62 to 68, depending on the time of day and part of the lake that we're on. So uh, I guess with that, we're gonna get after it and try to catch one of these beautiful Eagle Lake muskies for you to see. All right, folks, feels like a bucktail topwater type of day. I've got this beat up old little sister that I'm gonna toss on a nine foot assault stick, 2020 surgical strike. The 400 tranks and what's trevor got let's take a look at it a bubba one of my favorites if you guys have seen some of the videos that i've made about eagle lake uh Bubba played a big part last year of getting a bunch of nice fish and he's throwing that on a 2020 assault stick as well and uh i'm throwing finn's pro xs 80 pound line in a lovely blue shade and i really am impressed with it so far American-made braid, folks. Uh, check it out. So with that, we're gonna keep trying to catch a muskie here on Eagle Lake. Yeah. Thought it was going to Jim's, because it's kind of going, although that fish is probably above Jim's lure. Just got another one like up in the Oh, he's so good. Nice. What it is. <laughs> I saw him. They saw him somersault out, I think. They look good. Huh? That feels alright. Yeah, it looks like a good fish. Maybe she'll stretch a little bit longer than we think. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> you tied it. Hold her up and we'll get a good still off of this. Take a quick up close and personal look at her. Alrighty, cool man. Another nice fish. Or not. Or hang out. That's fine. Yeah, she's she's kicking. She's up right. There she goes. Fish on top water. All right. Well, we've managed to accidentally catch a muskie. What do you know? <laughs> I'm surprised we're actually up and functioning as little sleep as we got and as early as we got up, but uh, very cool. Seems to be worth it. Whoa! How big is that one? color but it was 
moving in every direction. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you the old sneak attack on the eight. Yeah. Big. Yeah, he did. Huh. I didn't even see him until I was on the outside of the gate. Yeah. Oh, oh, here was here's one, here's one, here's one. Gosh dang it! Just gave up on it. Just kept going. He he bumped it. Did he? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He pushed it. Dude, that was a good fish. You got it, Trevor? It's all right. Just watch cameras. Like, no, nope, little monster. Jim's on the board with a musky <laughs> little guy. <laughs> kind of a cool one. It's nice to see these fish. You know, we love to catch the big ones out here, but seeing little guys like this just means we've got a nice healthy fishery and he wants to go away. And there he goes. All right, well, everybody's got a musky now officially and uh, Jim can only go up from there, I suppose. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are in what I like to call the power hour. Last hour of the day, uh, the sun's going down. We've got really good conditions. We've got a little breeze going. We've got a spot that we know there are fish moving. There's some big fish in it. Um, unfortunately, the rest of the day, I mean, Trevor got one right away in the morning. Jim got a small one. We had a couple opportunities on small fish. Saw some really nice fish that were chasing baits pretty hot, but just wouldn't go. So. That's uh, what we've been dealing with. Typical musky fishing on Eagle Lake. It's uh, it's Canada, it's world-class world waters, but it can still be really tough. So we're just putting in our time and uh, hopefully somebody can make the right cast, get a big one, or we can pop a couple nice ones. Whatever, I'll, I'm not picky. I'll just take a nice musky right now. So that's what we're trying to do to hopefully show you one of these beautiful Eagle Lake muskies. You got him? Okay. No, 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 no. Get her head first, get her head first.
No, 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 no. Shoot. Crap. I'll say that. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, that was a decent one. Wasn't that was, it? A, yeah. That was, that was a 10 incher. That was a good one. night consolation prize maybe. Nice pike that made me think I had a muskie on. Probably upper 30s, but we'll get her back. We get a couple more casts in before uh, we run out of time tonight. Turn over and swim away, dummy. There he goes. All right, well, we got like five minutes. Let's see if we can make something up. All right, folks. The end of another day uh, sucks to end on heartbreak and a pike, uh, <laughs> but that's musky fishing sometimes. Uh, we've got fish located, so we've got fish to come back on tomorrow. Whether that's gonna be right away in the morning, probably not. <laughs> I think we probably need to sleep in, but uh, rest assured, we will be after them, and uh, we'll see what we can do. We had really good conditions today, quite honestly. Tomorrow might be a different story. We've got potential high winds and some pretty hot temps, close to 90. Um, we'll just see what happens. And uh, I appreciate every single one of you watching this mess. And I'll see you on the next video.